Did you, did you want to see me, Sir Robert? Yes, come in, Peter. Sit down. <laughs> Peter, there's been a terrible, terrible, terrible disaster. Oh, dear. A Chilean nuclear reactor has gone into meltdown. Gosh. You know what that means. Carnage. Chili con carnage. <laughs> the whole of the peninsula is covered with a dense cloud of nuclear radiation that will wipe out all human life now and for centuries to come. An invisible, deadly blanket of radiation covers the land, striking down every living thing that moves, crawls, or walks on the surface of the Earth. Oh, dear. And I want you to be our man on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> you will be the man, man at the meltdown. Here are your tickets. Check in time, half an hour. Good luck, Peter, and goodbye. Uh, yes, oh, 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 excuse, oh, excuse me, sir. I'm terribly sorry. Do, do you think? Could, could I just go over that again? Oh, come on, Peter. Time is money. Time is money. Fine. Yes. I mean, you, you want you want me to fly to San Diego? Do you? No, you can't fly to San Diego. There's a there's a cloud of nuclear radiation oh, hanging oh, over the ruddy yeah, place. No, no. You'll fly to Guatemala and go the rest of the way in a dugout canoe. <laughs> uh, sorry, I mean, don't don't, don't, don't mm. you think it'll be rather um. Rather what? Well, rather dangerous. <laughs> dangerous. Danger is my middle name, Peter. <laughs> yeah, but it's not you that's going, is it? <laughs> Peter, think back. Have I ever asked you to do anything that I wouldn't do myself, have I? Well, no, sir. <laughs> well, I am now. <laughs> oh, God, oh, come on, Peter. I expected more of you than this. You're Peter Pillspatter, investigative journalist. Yes, your name is synonymous with selfless commitment, a lust for danger, fearlessness in the front line. <laughs> I'm the sports editor, sir. Exactly. <laughs> I'm going to go to the, cover the QPR, man. Oh, this come on, Peter. This is a newspaper business. Yes, sir. A man has got to do what a man's got to do. Yes, I think I might have done it already, sir. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, executive facility. Sit down, Peter. Well, I'd, I'd better not if that's how it's... Sit down. <laughs> Look me in the eye, Peter. Yes, sir. I know what you're worried about. Radiation protection. <laughs> well, radiation, radiation protection, yeah. An impervious suit. Oh, no, an impervious suit, yeah. yes. Which stops the gamma rays from doing any damage whatsoever to the camera. <laughs> I mean, there's no chance of having this some of this suiting run up into a nice sort of safari outfit, is there? No, that's a nice idea, Peter, but it won't wash. Yeah, well, I, I wasn't thinking of washing it at all, actually. I thought I'd just keep it on, you know. Yeah. Is he busy? Let's get busy. Yes, sir, yes. Yes. Oh, there's, now, there, there is just one thing. Yes. I'm not going. <laughs> you can't send me to my certain doom, sir. I'll die of radiation sickness. I'll get you the best bone marrow money can buy. Please, sir. Please, I've, I've just got married. Yes, well, we all make mistakes. Please. No, it's not a mistake. I love my wife. What do you know of love? You don't know anything of love. All you think about is stories, stories, stories. That is a damn lie. And if you repeat it, I'll splash it all over the front page. <laughs> think of my fragrant bride of only three weeks. All right, Peter, all right. I'm not an unreasonable man. I can see your point of view. Thank you very much. So just this once, you can take her with you. <clears throat> Janet, get me one more ticket for Guatemala. Single. 